Hey everyone, today's day three, our first zero on trail. I'm fighting a cold. Uh, the ladies got me off trail and into a hotel so I could rest up and hopefully get a full day of rest and feel a little bit better and recover some. But we got a full pack explosion going on. Jen's over here chilling in the chair. <laughs> She's just smiling. She got Walmart ordered in for us. She gonna make me some soup. Um, you have no car. It's so weird coming to a hotel. You have no car. You can't get around. Yep. And you're just like, you're here in the hotel. <laughs> and it was short notice, so we were kind of scrambling trying to find a hotel. Normally, I'd find something we could walk to a little bit more, but it's this is working. Just yeah. fine. Yeah. There's services for people delivering and stuff, so it's working out great. We had DoorDash last night for dinner and Walmart delivery. and Yeah, we had yummy Chinese brought right to the door. Mm -hmm. That worked really well. Yeah. And the, the shuttle drivers are absolutely amazing. Yes. The shuttle drivers are absolutely amazing. We messaged Brett, who was the one that we used to get to the trail, and he wasn't available, so he suggested someone else we should message. So I messaged him all of this at the top of Sassafras Mountain. With one bar of service. Scott was feeling so sick. He was taking cold medicine and still not doing well, and he really trooped up that hill. Sassafras, like I, th I was, I don't know, maybe I was crazy, but I didn't think Sassafras was that bad. Like, I didn't. I think we've done worse. It was, you know, I think it depends on the person. Yeah, I think so too. It's a nice. Sassafras wasn't that bad. Just I was fighting this cold. It's a nice even trail, yeah, and lots of really good switchbacks, and mm -hmm. it was just it was long. It was almost a mile up the hill, but it was nice. So we're sitting at the top of Sassafras Mountain, and and I had talked at the last break to Scott about where he was feeling so poorly that we should look where the gaps are and where we could get picked up if we wanted to to get off for the day because I. He looked like he needed some rest. Um, <laughs> so uh, I checked the gaps, and there was one Cooper Gap just at the bottom of Sassafras. And then the next one would have been Gooch Gap, which was uh, four and a half, five miles. It five miles because it was two from, miles to Hell's Kitchen from. Yeah, it was from where we were going to camp. And Scott still would have had to walk another two miles to get to the camp for that night. So I was like, Maybe we should just see if we can get someone to pick us up at Cooper Gap, which isn't as, doesn't look like it's used as often as Gooch Gap, but it worked. It worked yep. out. We messaged the second guy. The second guy couldn't pick us up. He had somebody, I mean, this is real short notice, so I wasn't upset or anything, you know. He didn't have, sir, he wasn't available, but he gave me a number for the third guy, and the third guy, Richard, was able to do it for us, which is awesome. And then the second guy that I had texted is Ron, and... Ron was so nice, he was messaging me while I was trying to find a hotel because <laughs> clearly they need to know where they're going to take us to and we need to make sure we could get a reservation. So we're sitting on top of the mountain for like, wow, we were there for half an hour probably. Well, both, probably at least <laughs> maybe 45 minutes, an hour, who knows. It was a while. Sitting there on my phone with one bar of LTE <laughs> trying to call hotels and stuff. And I messaged Ron because he's so nice. And he's like, oh, maybe next time I can have a second chance, a second, second chance. Because <laughs> I keep messaging him for help and he keeps referring me to people, which is awesome. So I messaged him like, what's the hotel people, people stay at in Dahlonega? And he's like, oh, this one's probably good. And he said, tell him, tell him Ron sent you. And so I did. And he saved us quite a bit of money, which is really nice. Thank you very much. And we finally got everything all situated. And the hike down Sassafras was really nice, but steep, but really nice. Yeah, but I just want to shout out to all the drivers in this community because they are absolutely amazing. Yeah, the shuttle drivers are just incredible. In this and area, they, they share, have a really nice network going. Yeah, they keep referring and they send a number with a referral, and it's just so nice and makes it so easy. And they're full of great information, and uh, it's just great. Thank you. <laughs> So hopefully Scott's going to get to feel better. I got a Walmart order in, so I'm going to get some cold medicine and some cough drops and some tissues and stuff and some chicken noodle soup reci recipes. No, some chicken noodle soup ingredients to put together for him. So hopefully he's feeling better. We wanted to show you the full pack explosion because it, it, this happens. Like you got here on trail and <laughs> you roll in these hotels and it's like you're beat and exhausted and... And I was like, when I was used to watching videos, I'm like, man, why are they such slobs? Like, <laughs> seriously, but, like. But it's like, you can't find anything. Yesterday was rainy, yeah. so I moved stuff in my pack to places that I, so guys didn't want it to get wet. And then I couldn't remember where I put them, so I'm like tearing my whole pack apart here because yeah. I can't find anything. <laughs> yeah. So, 
so you roll in here and that's what happens you you do that you end up tearing your whole pack apart and you're exhausted and you just want to crash and then that happens you gotta you know wash your clothes and washing clothes has been a chore we actually did some in the sink and in the tub um they have a washer here but the washer is like the size of a golf ball like I, you might be able to do one garment like i don't know like yes. it's the craziest it's tiny thing and it's ridiculous cost yeah. And we've only been on the trail uh, two, three three days of hiking, the approach trail, and then two days on the trail. Um, and so our clothes weren't that bad. Um, but, but we'd also we warm on the train, so. Yeah, we'd warm on the train. So we had five five days of wearing them. Yeah. So we rinsed them out. And and I, I like I said a hundred times, like I don't have hiker hunger. I don't think I do. But man, I am hungry. Like I, I definitely have lost weight still from starting mm -hmm. and i'm just hungry i'm like ravenous like, i don't want to see your hiker hunger <laughs> i know, I don't I know. i'll be sending messages to jen put more in the reply boxes yes. <laughs> but, fill a second box <laughs> but i'm at the i'm at the stage of the cold right now where i'm you just feel that that uh, head fog like it's all up in my head and i just feel exhausted like i get up and move around the, the room and i just feel like dead <laughs> like but but the sneezing and the the runny nose has slowed down a lot, and yeah. that could be because of the cold medicine too, which is supposed to do that. But I don't know. I'm getting better for sure. We're gonna make him drink lots of liquids today. We're gonna keep him hydrated. Well, That'll help flush this cold out. Yeah. But, but we've been loving the trail too. We didn't get off because we were upset. Yeah. No, we love the trail. Okay, we've been loving it. Yeah. Really loving it. So that's a good sign. Yeah. yeah. We keep going through. We're like, oh, we checked off milestones. We went through a thunderstorm. <laughs> Torrential rains. Yes, <laughs> we did all these different things. Every day is something different. We check off. Yep. So it's been a lot of fun. Yeah, it's been the trail's been absolutely epic, and the the views on the ridge lines and stuff in February, uh, just so worth it. I mean, oh, yeah. It, and we were talking to the drivers. The drivers like when the leaves come in, you can't see anything. Yeah. And when we were driving down, what was his name Richard? This Richard, guy, yeah. uh, our shuttle driver. We were driving down off the 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 forest roads and these forest roads are actually really nice roads in my book where i live i mean they're really nice roads mm. and we're driving off these roads he's like if i stop you can hardly see these ridge lines and he's true like as you're moving down the hill like you can you can just steadily see all the mountains and the ridge lines but you stop it's like they got all these trees you can barely see the ridge lines so it's a really neat thing i never even realized before and when the leaves come in you're not gonna be able to see them at all you won't be able to see them at all it'll just be a forest of leaves like just so. so maybe when we're GoProing along the ridge line, we'll have to turn it on and face it towards the ridge line and just walk at a nice, not fast pace, but a steady pace and see if it shows the ridge line better for patients. For I did a couple of videos like that, so Good. we'll see. We'll yeah. see if that, that shows anything or not. Because that's the way I see the views the best. As soon as I stop, it, he's right. Yeah. I was yeah. having trouble, and I'm like, okay, trying to, and I don't want to zoom past it because then right. I can't fix anything if I decide to go in and doctor some of my pictures. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So, and I'm like, okay, and if I just post these pictures, it's like, okay, all you're seeing is trees. Trees. <laughs> you're not yeah. seeing what I'm seeing visually on my eye perception. Yeah. So I, I like that guy's comment on that yesterday. Yeah. And we, when we leave this hotel, it'll be spotless. We'll pick it all up. Oh, God, yeah, we're not. Right. It's like just that. the way we are. I mean, it's who we are. I mean, we'll pick it right you up. You have like to run around all, all of this but, morning trying to pick up stuff and make yeah. it neater. And but it's it's crazy when you roll on trail and you get so much packed in them packs, it's just like... <laughs> And I've been making a list of things that I can send home already, so which good. is nice yeah, good. Um, that I can pull aside and realize something will actually charge something else. Mm -hmm. So that drops a weight on one of the cords. Yeah. Um, so we'll see. Yeah, but <clears throat> anyways, so we, we are drying our tents. Wendy's talking with her family. Our tents got drenched that night of heavy rain, and uh, we need to get them dried out so they're not causing a bunch of mildew and stuff. So we walked out to Delonica, the, the common, we're on the common down here. The public square. Public square, yeah. See, See that? Sign. See the sign? <laughs> public square. We're walking around looking at all the shops. They got some pretty cool shops. We're going to walk back to the hotel and see how I'm feeling, see if I'm getting back out on the trail tomorrow. And then we'll go from there. That's what we're doing. It's a pretty cool town. Really uh, a lot of history here. My tree of life one. Oh, that's pretty. You're walking along. There's a little, a little groundhog right there. I don't know if you can see him. 
Oh, there! Oh, 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 there we go. Hey, I got all three of us. But this may be it for day three because we're just chilling today. Yep. But we thank you guys very much for watching, and we're hoping you're enjoying the videos. And hopefully, some of this information is helpful to you. We're trying to talk about things that we're learning, even though we've been training and watching all these videos. Right. We're trying to talk about stuff that we're learning and we're experiencing yeah. on the trail. So hopefully, that's helpful to people who are looking at doing the trail coming right up or next year or so. Hopefully you find this information helpful. So. You can't really plan for for getting sick, and I yeah. never imagined we'd be off trail before we even made it to Neil's Gap. But yeah, you know what? It's how it goes, and you have to plan. And it was pretty much pretty adventure to to try and get all that put together on top of Sassafras Mountain. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> make a good story. Yeah, and it's <laughs> I'm I'm stubborn. I'm pretty pretty tough mule, and uh, I was I was gonna keep stepping. I was gonna keep stepping, and. And that's the other thing already we're just you know we're just you know two it's on our third official day of the through hike and we're already in a hotel and it's nothing i'd planned like jen just said like it's nothing we planned and you you just have to be ready to adapt and yep. and so we adapted Same and it worked with the weather it was supposed to rain all day yesterday and it rained all morning while we were getting packed up and stuff we put all our rain gear on and then <laughs> we get we step outside and it starts yeah. raining. It starts, the sun comes out. Yeah, the sun comes out as soon as we step out. Yeah. Really so we hike the first mile with our rain gear on and the sun keeps coming out, the sky's blue. And we're like, I think we're gonna take our rain gear off when we get to the, the next stop. Yeah. <laughs> but that's it, you just have to adapt. The weather changes, everything changes. Yep. How Scott feels, Scott, Scott is a trooper. He would have gone through it, but I could see he wasn't and enjoying it and, and going through it and he made it he was doing great but i could tell he really wasn't feeling well i honestly think this rest was very important and yeah. and i believe that in my heart so i need i needed to have this rest because yeah. i mean yeah i could have done that but what what would have been the downstream effects of that right how long you how know much longer would you be sick and not so, feeling well right if we didn't just come off and let you rest so and just you so, need to enjoy your adventure and know that so just know that you can't you cannot make hard plans you just can't nope. yeah <laughs> you just can't i mean you just have to be ready to adapt and go with the flow so and that's hard it's hard to do so. it was anyway. hard for him to come off trail he didn't want to he did not want to no, no. <laughs> but luckily i have the ladies with me but to help me so. Say, yeah, I really <laughs> <laughs> so thank you guys very much bye. thank you bye